Hey everyone, Tim from Smart Home Mastery here and starting this video uh, behind my equipment rack here because I uh, recent, recently released a video um, that gave a little tour of this and I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and questions about uh, the wire management and uh, so I wanted to do a video today, a short video, uh, specifically focusing on my um, custom uh, length uh, banana cables here, patch cables. As you can see, I uh, have built my own banana patch cables that go from my amplifier into a uh, patch panel that has banana jacks built into it, and like, and those go all those go out to the speakers. You can see the speaker wire here. There's all the speaker wire. Those all terminate in the back of these jacks, and then I made custom cables to go up to the amp. And so I'm just going to do a short video. I've gotten a few people asking me about these and um, how I made them, so I'm going to do a short video to show you how to do that and goes a long ways to uh, cleaning up the wiring, as you can see. So uh, let me get to that part and uh, we'll see you in a sec. So before we get into actually making the uh, custom patch cables here, I did want to show you a couple other things. I think I might have shown these in some of my other videos, but another thing that I did to clean up the wiring is I ordered my own uh, custom length uh, power cords. So this is just a three foot power cord. You'll notice that most of the things, uh, most of the power cords that come with equipment are probably, you know, six feet, five feet. Um, so I ordered these and that makes a big difference back there. You don't have to like worry about all that extra, you know, thick power cable being back there. Just make sure there's like a million of these things, um, a different gauge wire. Just make sure you're buying one that um, meets the gauge required for your equipment. The other thing I did um, is I ordered these. Uh, short XLR cables. So these are just three footers and I just saw from my uh, the beginning of the video um, I just left these looped. So, you know, they're basically just wired from the pre the processor into the amp like that um, I think I maybe one less loop than here and then I just did gentle wire ties to hold them hold them clean So uh, let's walk through um, the materials here for the uh, custom length uh, banana jacks so uh, start off with, I just buy this bulk wire. This is just right off Amazon. I'm gonna have links to all this stuff in the description. So um, you know, look down there to get the links for uh, all the stuff that I'm using here. So this is just, uh, it's 12-2 speaker wire, nothing special. It's monoprice, I, I stick with monoprice speaker wire. Um, got it off from Amazon. Um, I think this was 250 feet I bought. Um, as you can see, I have quite a bit left. Uh, it's the same stuff I use to run to all my speakers. So from that patch panel that I showed you to all of my uh, speakers, I use that same 12-2 um, wire from Monoprice. So you're going to want um, to, to do these. You're going to need a good pair of strippers, wire strippers. Um, uh, I always like to use a, a nice sharp pair of dikes too. Um, you may need um, a utility knife. And then here are the um, banana jacks that I'm going to be using. So as you can see, um, you know, no wire in here, just a bare banana jack, and there's this threaded piece on the back. And then you can see there's black and red here. So there's a black one, there's a red one, so that, you know, helps you keep your polarity correct. And you can see these just unscrew. So uh, let me get set up here, and, um, and I'll show you exactly how. So I got my wire set up here, and I wanted to show you one other thing before we get started. On this in this wire, you're going to find there's a there's a string. It's hard. No, it's probably hard to see on the camera. There, you can see it pretty good. Uh, don't cut that off. So what you can do is leave the you know. So this is where I just pulled that wire out. If you just leave that, now when you uh, and this doesn't always work. This sometimes just breaks and you have to kind of start over. But if you leave that, you can see you can pull this pretty easily, and it strips all that jacket off for you. So you don't have to try and uh, cut that jacket off. So don't cut the string. Leave the string on there and uh, use that to pull, to pull the jacket, to cut the jacket, and you can pull it off in the wire. So to get started on these, um, again, I showed you this piece just unscrews from the back like that. And you're going to see, let's see if we get a good shot of this. I'm going to grab a pencil here. So there's right here is where the wire has to come up and then go and then cover. You can see the thread start there. You wanna make sure that the wire does not go down over the threads. So I'm gonna show you here in a second how I do this, but 
essentially the wire goes through that hole, comes out here, and then you fold all of the individual strands down around the edge. So let me give you, let me show you how that's done. So when you strip the wire, you don't have to strip a whole lot. So like that much say, and again, this is where a good wire strippers come in. Just cut that and pull it off. You can see that's about how much I have. And actually don't worry if it's a little longer, because as you'll see, so see you feed this up through here. If, if you got that a little longer than you needed, um, then the, uh, you can just leave that extra down in. This is where the tricky part is and where it, this either makes these really easy or really hard. So when you push the wire through, you only want to push through enough wire so that when you fold it over, it only covers that top part. So just by the trick I've been doing is you just grab a, like a couple strands, see like that, and then you fold those over. And then you can see like if that, it's hard to see on there, but if that's a little short, you can just push the wire up a little bit more, fold another one over. And so once you get the right length, then just go, start folding them over. And it's important to fold these over evenly around the, the top so that you don't end up with a big bunch somewhere. So just keep folding these over. Again, get them as even as you can. And then when you can start getting in the middle here, it does get a little trickier. So once you get that like that, and you just like with your fingers just push this around as tight as you can and i'm going to show you here in a second so you can even see here i'd actually get that a little long in some spots i think that's going to be okay but you just got to just pull this back up a little bit like that and then fold them over again and then you take the other part of the connector here and see this just goes in there like that and this is where it gets a little tricky you push that in there and then turn it and that makes a nice and then you make sure you really tighten that down and that makes a really nice connection so you basically just have to repeat that over and over and over again i can't tell you how many of these i did um but it's pretty easy once you get once you get a, a few of them done you'll realize what the pattern is here and what's important is not to get the strands of wire so long that they go down into the threads but again just keep repeating this process over and over and over again push it up fold the wires over look and see looks good and then fold these over evenly around the barrel of the connector and you do that and again it's going to make a nice electrical connection there and um, again the advantage of these things is that they're custom length you can make them custom length so that you got just enough cable back there and you end up with a nice clean look like what you saw in the back of mine you don't have all that extra wire Let's see if I could got this one good too Sometimes if you get just a couple of strands on the thread, it's still fine. Really important here though, again, is make sure that's nice and tight. And so there you have it, custom banana jack, custom banana patch cable. And so obviously you would just repeat the same thing with the black. One, and you know, make sure when you, before you do it, make sure you get the length of wire that you need, you know, that you wanna have, so you're not gonna have a bunch of slack back there before you cut this. I just randomly cut this length to do the demonstration here but make sure you're obviously make sure you're cutting the wire to the to the right length and that's it that's all there is to it that it makes a huge difference in the back of the rack um if you have any questions uh just leave them in the comments i will do my best to answer them and uh again uh makes a nice clean look in the back and uh and uh really helps the airflow and everything too so if you have any questions, leave them uh, in the below. And uh, thanks again. And please like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video.